Hi and welcome to IT3D. This is a new channel. My name's Ian and for my first review video I will be reviewing a 1.6 watt laser from Creality. <clears throat> now Creality sent this out to me um, but I will give you an honest review of it. Pros and cons. Okay so the laser itself, as I say, is actually 1.6 watt. It's quite easy to install. Just put the bracket on there. This is a Ender 3 V2. So you just put the bracket on there. You unplug the leads from the stepper motors and the stop switch. Put in the patch leads on there. And put the software in. Set the distance of the laser to the bed which has a handy little gauge there and install the software now there's plenty of other videos out there there's a guy on youtube called ricky mp i suggest you check out his installation video his videos are great and it's also approachable in the comments so go check him out I learned a lot from that guy so after fitting all the hardware there's a power unit there so you don't have to remove or add any firmware the actual printer is not plugged in the motors are taking the power up from this module you see so install the software which comes free with light burn you get a month's free use out of this and then after that you have the option to purchase it which i think is about 50 to 60 pounds I'll have to double check that but it's quite user friendly it does take a bit getting used to but once you've gotten used to it and you can understand the layers the, the burn percentage the speed etc when you get it calibrated it's quite fundamental to use so, so I will be buying this software so at the moment, I'm just doing a uh, power splash, slash temperature and speed test. So I know roughly what speeds it's capable of at what temperature or in percentage to burn at. The engine. So what do I think of it? As I say, Crowley sent it out to me. 1.6 watt is the only laser I've ever used. This is my first laser. So for etching, engraving, at the moment on two mil ply, it's pretty damn good. I like it. Now I think I'll be getting into cutting as well, and also other materials. So would I go out and buy 1.6 watt, knowing what I know now? Probably not. I might as well be going for a 10 watt or higher, higher wattage from possibly from other from another company. But if I was to get a Crowley, I'd go out and buy a 10 watt. Obviously, you've got to put your steel plate underneath or something to protect your bed, so you don't damage your printer bed if you plan to use it for 3D printing steel. So, yeah, thumbs up for the 1.6 watt for doing what it can do and I suppose what it's designed to do. I've yet to learn a hell of a lot more about this lasering. So I think it's another hobby to add to my 3D printing, which I'll also be adding to this channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as that'll help my channel will grow and it also help you by letting YouTube know what sort of content you're looking into. Thanks again. Cheers.